bit will look like this. So we have bit, which is our next data type. And then in parentheses, they'll, many will refer it to, to refer to it as M. Uh, this is a bit value. So let's say 12. This allows up to a 12 bit value to be entered. So do a math, do a little math. 2 to the 12th power minus 1. All right, let me just do that on my head real quick. And uh, I think I did my math right in my head. I got 400, 4,095. I always say 100 when I should say 1,000. All right, Boolean's very simple. It's the same thing as tinyint1, where if you don't know anything about Boolean, it's basically true or false. That's all Boolean is. So a zero entered into a Boolean is equal to false. And then a one will be true. All right, Boolean's very simple. It's the same thing as tinyint1, where if you don't know anything about Boolean, it's basically true or false. That's all Boolean is. So a zero entered into a Boolean is equal to false. And then a one will be true. But for MySQL, basically anything that is not a zero is true. So not zero, not zero. And if you didn't know this, when you put a little explanation mark before something, for coding, it means not. So, not zero equals true. Serial is the equivalent of a big int, unsigned, not null, auto increment, unique entry. Now, if you have no idea what that means, that's okay. All right, so let's just try and break this trend down. If you remember big int from our earlier videos, basically a huge flipping number. So that's just the big, big number. Unsigned, if you remember, that means it's not negative, so just the positive range. Now, if you watched my last series, you'll know that not null means that uh, there always has to be an entry because null is nothing. So not null means something. So you have to enter into a serial. If you don't know what that means, let's say you're on a website and it has a box. And then it has a, a submit button down here. And the data type is not null. And you put nothing in there and click submit. It's not going to work because there's not an entry in here. If you put an entry like five, then it will work. So then it does work. But it that, as long as it has an entry, it's fine. But it can't be it can't be null. An auto increment that means it'll automatically go up by one each entry. So if one person enters and then another person enters, whoops, that was a horrible square. I don't even know what that was. This one will be let's say five, and then this one will be six, and then when the next person comes, it'll be seven, and so forth. And we'll keep doing that by itself. Now what unique means. That just means that there can't be any other uh, entries with the same number. So 6,000. If there's another one with 6,000, it's just not going to work because it's not unique. It won't let that happen. So this is going to have to be 6,001 or something other than 6,000. Just think of serial as like a serial number for an item in a store. It just keeps it's a big number because there's lots of items and it's unique because it's a, that's that specific item and it always has a serial number and so forth. Alright, so um, I covered all of the uh, numeric types and now we're going to move on to date and time. So stick with me, it's going to be sweet.